So in the last video, I showed you that you can operate inequalities with adding and subtracting, much in the same way you would do with equations, and that the signs pretty much stays the same as long as you do the same thing to both sides. Will the same thing work with multiplication and division? Let's see. It will be about the same with a little kink. Let's see. So if you have three breadsticks and one breadstick, of course, three breadsticks is more. So our right side is bigger this time. Let's say we multiply both sides by five because five mice will come to steal each of the breadsticks. One times five should be five and three times five should be 15. So we have five on the left and 15 on the right. 15 is bigger than five. Looks like the sign stay in the same orientation because I multiply both sides by the same. So it seems like the same pattern is holding true. As long as we do the same thing to both sides, everything stays the same. Negative four and negative six. If I multiply both sides by five, I get 20 negative on the left and negative 30 on the right. Negative six was smaller than negative four. Negative 30 is smaller than 20. The sign stays in the same orientation. What if we divide both sides by the same thing? Negative 18, negative 24. Divide both sides by six. You get negative three on the left and negative four on the right. Negative 24 was smaller than negative 18. Negative four is smaller than negative three. The sign stays in the same direction because I divided both sides by the same. So it seems like there's a pattern. As long as you do the same thing to both sides, everything stays the same with an exception. Sadly, there is an exception. If you multiply it by a negative, let's see what happens. Seven times negative two is actually negative 14. Four times negative two is negative eight. Four was smaller than seven. But 14 is smaller than negative 8. The sign flipped. Why did it flip? It flipped this time because you multiplied by a negative. So the rules are is if you do the same thing to both sides, it always stays the same unless you multiply or divide by a negative. That's right. The same thing happens in division. 14 divided by negative 2 is negative 7. 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. And even though 14 was bigger than 4, negative 7 is smaller than negative two, so the sign flips. So remember, the rules are, when you multiply or divide both sides by a positive, the symbol does not flip, but when you multiply or divide by a negative, the symbol does flip. Let's see some examples of that. 5n is smaller than 15. Okay, to get rid of the five, we have to divide both sides by five. When we do that, we get n smaller than five because we divide it by a positive, so the sign does not change. Smaller than three, sorry. Okay, because 15 divided by 5 is 3. And of course, this in the number line, 3 would not be included because we don't have an equal sign. So you put an open dot and you go to the left because we're looking for numbers smaller than it. The next one is m divided by negative 4 is big, bigger than or equal to 12. To get rid of a negative 4 that's dividing, I have to multiply both sides by negative 4. And when I do that, the negative 4 cancels out on the left. 12 times 4 is a negative 48 because it's the negative sign. What about the sign of the inequality? It should flip. So then we had instead of, of bigger than or equal, we have smaller than or equal. The equal stays there. M is smaller than or equal to negative 48. So in the number line, you would have the negative 48 included because it's equal and everything's smaller than that. So notice that when we divide it by a positive, it did not flip. When we divide it by a negative, it did flip. Everything else is the same as solving equations. So just remember, dividing or multiplying by a negative flips the inequality sign. Other than that, it's just like solving normal equations. Speaking of which, on the next video, we're going to get tougher by doing two-step equations just like this. I'll see you guys then. Um, actually, first, let's practice this a little bit more. I'll see you for that on the next video.